Hello, hello everybody. This is Strato Ayani from Craftius.com and today I am back without an intro this time because there is a little free time this uh, period of the year but that's okay, I always find time for you in order to create some interesting tutorials for free. Now, uh, as I said, I am here directly in Photoshop without any intros in order to show you how to create some very interesting uh, let's say light leak effects now these effects are very popular lately they can add this uh, spicy thing that might be missing or that edgy thing that might be missing from a photo it's ideal for portraits it's ideal for uh, sometimes retro photos or if you are shooting film they will also add something special to your photos now I'm going to show you how to create one by using Photoshop without any plugins and how to customize it as well. It's quite an easy procedure, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is to open, of course, your photo within Photoshop. Then in your layers palette, you go over here and you create a new layer. You double click on the name and you name it Light Leak, of course, and you hit enter in order to uh, make the name change for the layer. Now, step number two, you go over here, you click and press and hold until this pop-up menu appears and you select the rectangular marquee tool. Then, while you have active your new empty light leak layer, you go over here and you click and drag from up to downwards an area, let's say somewhere around here and you make a selection like this. Next step, you go to the gradient tool over here and you select the gradient which is red to yellow for starter. So for example, you can click here on the foreground color, you can select red and hit OK. You can click on the background color, you can select yellow and hit OK. You can change the hue from here, from these two triangles, and you can change the color, let's say, brightness by dragging this uh, cursor within this rectangular shape with the color variations as you can see here. Now we have red and yellow, red foreground, yellow background color and I'm going to switch to this gradient tool over here which is a linear gradient and I'm going to click and drag into my selection. So I'm going to get something like this. I'm going then to hit Ctrl D in order to deselect this uh, area and then I'm going to the filter menu, I'm going to select Blur and I will go for the Gaussian Blur. Now, I'm going to give it quite a big amount. For example, I'm going for 55 to 75 to maybe 100 Blur, something like that. The trick is to be able to see something behind this, uh, let's say, color layer in order to be able to uh, say that you have blurred it enough. So in other words, to make it easier for you, you blur the set out of it until while it's in normal blending mode, you can see something behind the light leak blurred layer. Now, I think this is okay, so I'm going to hit okay as well here. And then I'm going to the light leak layer and I'm going to switch into the screen blending mode. Now, you get this really nice effect as you can see over here, but we are not done yet. We are going to customize it even further. Once I have this effect uh, that you can see on your screens right now, I'm going to edit, transform, and I'm going to select the warp effect. Now, I'm going to play with uh, the shapes over here. You can drag it, you can uh, drag also these handles over here to create an abstract form or shape. The trick is to remember not to overlap things. For example, don't take this edge and turn it around like this because you are going to get some very harsh details and the lines as you can see over here and here. So what you need to do is to keep this rectangular, let's say, shape in check and just expand and twist in order to get something interesting. So maybe that's okay for now. I'm going to hit enter in order to finalize the shape. And now I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to the filter menu and I'm going to select blur again, motion blur, and I'm going to select a vertical blur of, let's say, uh, 200 this distance, something like that. 
I'm going to hit OK and now my light leak effect, as you can see, is ready. I can move it around, I can hit Ctrl T and twist it if I want or do something like that. Now, some tips and tricks, if you move this layer and you see that you have this ugly edge over here which stops the effect in a very ugly way, you can do two things. Number one, you can hit Ctrl T and while you have Ctrl pressed, you can go to one of these Ctrl uh, square handles and drag it around and transform this layer in order to get the effect that you want. So I'm constantly keeping the Ctrl button on my keyboard pressed and I'm moving the layer or I am changing the shape of this thing by dragging these rectangular handles over here. I'm gonna hit enter for now and if you still have something that you don't like, for example this edge over here, this uh, distinct line where the effect ends, you can always go to the filter menu and select blur, motion or Gaussian blur and play again like this. Uh, you can hit Ctrl T and twist it as I said before so you get strange effect like this one You can place it on the corners in a diagonal uh, place And you can change the color of course by using two methods While the light leak layer is active you hit Ctrl U And you can play with a hue slider over here which will change the colors Or you can click on the colorize uh, checkbox over here Select the color that you want and the color is presented over here in this last uh, line, let's say, with color. You can play with saturation and you play with luminance. Again, if you want a single color for your light leak, all you have to do is click on the colorize checkbox over here and play with the hue, the saturation and the lightness sliders. And final tip, you can do this also more interesting with different shapes. For example, you can use an uh, ellipse. I'm going to do the same procedure over and over again, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, oops, sorry, I didn't use a new layer, so my bad, let me erase everything. Now I'm going to simply do this again in order to demonstrate how fast this technique can be. So I'm going to blur, and actually Gaussian blur this a little more something like that, I'm going to turn it into screen, I'm going again to use a filter, blur, motion, blur in order to blur it even more and as you can see I have uh, now a completely different effect which can come from downwards upwards here it stops as you can see in an ugly matter again and as I said before, filter, blur, motion, blur again in order to hide uh, this ugly horizontal area where the effect stops. So I'm going to give it another motion blur over here. I can again twist it, I can move it around, I can hit Ctrl U and change the color, etc, etc, etc. And I can also hold down the Alt key and while I have the Alt key pressed I can click and drag to create a copy of this light leak layer which can also be manipulated in a way that you find satisfactory. So that was it, I hope you will find this tutorial useful in order to be able to create uh, and apply this light leak effect to your photos. If you have any photos that you would like to showcase, please let us know in the comments below or send the photo uh, at info at crafties.com. I would be more than happy to collect them and present them in a blog post. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and please share this tutorial if you have found it to be useful. It means the world to us. Thanks again, take care and until next time, happy photo shooting. Ciao!